Do not do what I did. Do not do what I did, okay? I just tried Amanita Muscaria mushrooms for the first time ever at a Post Malone concert this week, and we need to talk about it. I took what I'm now learning some people consider to be a poisonous mushroom that makes you fall asleep. I took that for the first time ever <laughs> with thousands of other people around me, and <laughs> it didn't go so well, okay? So don't do what I did. Side note, you can legally, today, purchase Amanita Muscaria mushrooms in the United States. That was going to be the most interesting part of this video until I took them, and now, honestly, I couldn't care less about that. But if you're interested, then you can go online to the website that I'll link below and purchase them. You can get them in gummies, chocolate bars, literally anything you can think of. You can buy them right now in Minecraft. So here's what happens when you take 1.5 grams of Amanita Muscaria mushrooms at a Post Malone concert. These things were no joke. I took three gummies in the parking lot when we got there, and by the time I was walking into the venue, I was tripping. I started having really strong come up anxiety slash excitement, and I was trying hard to control it. Now, by the time I made it to my seat, I was really starting to question my decision to do this because Granted, the music had started and the energy was feeling fantastic, but I just didn't know what was in store. I'd never taken these before, and it, it started to become overwhelming in a way that psilocybin never was. Just for the record, this is exactly what I tell my friends not to do. I tell everyone that I don't recommend taking psychedelics at a concert or festival, because there's just too many variables that you don't have control of. So, I don't even know why I was doing this. I just, I, I felt compelled. I had to try it. There's some things that I want to do in my life and it's leading in this direction. And so, yeah, I just needed to, to see what it's like doing these substances in a overwhelmingly large group of people. Now, I wasn't having any sort of psychedelic visuals until Posty had this crazy graphic put up behind him on stage. Now, at the time, I did not know that it was only a graphic. Behind him on stage starts playing this beautiful grassy landscape that starts psychedelically shifting and warping to the music as he's playing it. Now, that is what's supposed to happen for the concert, but for me what happens is an entire four-dimensional world opens up behind him and he starts playing on an alien planet that looks like that. And as I'm watching this, my perspective sort of detaches from my body. I don't know if I would call it astral projection like that fully, but it was like I was tethered loosely to it, almost like I was like a hot air balloon anchored to this body, and my perspective felt bigger. As I'm realizing this more and more, and the energy of this room starts picking up and picking up, Everything starts warping around me in the concert venue, and I am able to shift my perspective so that I am now on stage with Post Malone as he's performing inside of this alien planet. I am completely lost in this moment. I am so lost in this moment that I don't even recognize that it's insane. I don't even know that this isn't actually possible because it's so, it just feels so real. It's so visceral in the moment, this private concert that I'm getting. I also become vividly aware of the energy exchange taking place in this concert venue. I can feel all of these tens of thousands of people around me surging with energy, but more than that, I start to feel it and see it being focused towards the stage. It's like a, a ghost-like energy being sucked out of people and that starts to become terrifying to me. I don't even know how to like articulate that to my friends. I, obviously I told people going in, hey, I'm taking I'm taking these mushrooms. I've never taken this much before, so don't lose me and you know, keep an eye on me. Make sure I'm doing okay. But I don't even know how I could begin to ask this question of people. Hey, you know, is Post Malone sucking our souls right now? Like, how do you how do you tell people that and ask for help? So I am just internalizing this rapture that's taking place, and that is when things turned really dark. I immediately become aware of a terrifying ancient alien presence inside of my body. I can feel this like black reptilian infection creature crawling through every 
cell that makes up who I am. I can feel it in there and it's this weird black needly sensation that has like a weird clicking sound to it that is like searching through my DNA. I don't know what any of that means. This mushroom alien started conveying this message of disapproval. Like it was upset with me that I had chosen to take mushrooms in this setting. It, it was like I was being humiliated by this ancient alien thinking that I was strong enough, capable enough of taking such a powerful thing for the first time in such a vulnerable setting. It was, it was teaching me a lesson that I, I was dumb yet again. I know nothing and that I shouldn't be out there doing that. And so because of that, as, as a price to pay for my arrogance, it was now going to steal my soul. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't necessarily enjoy having my soul sucked out of my body by a seemingly angry ancient alien being so I was a little on edge at this point and from what I am told uh, by my friends and family drenched in sweat I remember looking around listening to the mushroom tell me that it was basically gonna steal my soul and I remember looking down at the ground and thinking yeah that's probably where I'm gonna die and then everything went black at all of my field of vision it started out like kind of that tunnel vision where it started out black around the edges and then I just went out it I don't know where I went I don't know how much time passed I don't know what happened but I was gone after an eternity in this void with this ancient alien teaching me a lesson in humility my girlfriend saves me she somehow telepathically like she always does knows to turn around, reach out, grab my shoulder, start rubbing my side, and literally draws me back into my physical body. She sucks me back out of whatever pit of despair I got thrown into on this psychedelic trip. She pulled me out of it just with her touch and knowing that she was there to care about me. The rest of the concert was pretty normal, all things considered. I really didn't have any more psychedelic symptoms, I, I would say, after that. I, I was fully back in my body and present, and I felt fantastic. I still had the, the strong, energetic presence of mushrooms in my system for the rest of the night, and, you know, it was a great, it was a great concert. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I had, I was able to enjoy a strong sense of communication with my higher self th for the rest of the night, and there was a lot of lessons that I, I gleaned more on just, I guess, more nuanced understandings of energy and how energy is exchanged and how we ourselves can change it. Boring things like that, that if, if you want, I can for sure make another video on that topic as well. Kind of the more metaphysical lessons that I, I took away from this trip. But yeah, that, uh, that was my experience. My first dose, <laughs> seemingly low dose with Amanita muscaria mushrooms. And I would say... I know a lot of people on the internet, uh, from what I've I've done research now, they they say that they're wildly different from psilocybin mushrooms. That's you know that's the whole kind of loophole legality thing that th the reason that you're able to purchase these Amanita muscaria mushrooms is because they don't contain psilocybin. It's it's this dual combination of two other compounds that aren't illegal that are still psychoactive, and and that is fed not federally regulated at all. Anyways, now having done Amanita muscaria and putting it up alongside of my experiences with the psilocybin mushrooms, I would say that I can definitely see that they're very different. Um, I, d I didn't have a sense of tiredness. I know that uh, I guess on higher doses, Amanita muscaria is supposed to kind of lull you into this sense of sleep and you, you get some deeper trips through that. Obviously, I I mean, maybe I was sleeping at the concert. Maybe that's what the, the soul sucking was. I don't know. I don't think I took a nap. No one told me I, I was standing the whole time. So I don't know what that was. But um, it, the only reason I'm relating it to penis envy is because it felt so similar to my last trip where I, I accidentally turned my bedroom into an alien. And it was that it was something reptilian about it. it whatever that was i felt it inside of my dna this time uh and so that that's where i'm i'm drawing that the kind of penis envy experience from that's what i felt 
on Amanita muscaria. But there was no no crazy visuals, no like colorful fractals, nothing like that. Um, but definitely like a warp in perspective, and then it just allowed me to have really. It felt like there was a test. Uh, the the soul sucking was a test of humility, and uh, I was able to pass that test somehow by I guess relying on my girlfriend and relying on other people and just realizing that I. I don't have it all together. I, these things are going to kick your ass no matter who you are, no matter how many times you've tried them. Um, so, yeah, powerful lesson for me, and hopefully in sharing that, it's a, a good lesson for someone else out there who's curious about this stuff. Don't don't mess around. This stuff, uh, it will always win.